everybody, I'm Brian Julius. I'm the Chief Content Manager for Enterprise DNA, and I wanted to provide you just a brief introduction to the video you're about to see. Uh, this is a huge month for us in that we are transitioning from being a site focused strictly on Power BI to one focused on the larger Power Platform. And as such, we've released two uh, courses we're really excited about this month. Uh, one is a masterclass focused on Power Apps and the other on Power Automate. And these are both comprehensive courses with about eight hours of material each. Um, and what we wanted to do was just provide you samples of both um, content that we think stands alone as useful um, to you, but also hopefully gives you the incentive to check out the, the larger courses. So we'll provide that information in the comments. Um, and as always, thanks for watching and we hope you enjoy. Hi everyone. Let's take stock of the flows that we've created so far. We've created an instant flow right over here, and we've created three automate flows. Now let's look at flows that we haven't created just yet. So let's go back to create. Again, an automated flow is based on event. Instant flow is based on a button that you click. Scheduled flow is actually based on just time passing. So you can create a flow that gets triggered at 9 a.m. every morning. You can create a flow that's triggered at 5 p.m. You can create a flow that's triggered um, on Mondays and Tuesdays of every week, of every second week, maybe once a month, things like that. And if you click it, it'll actually first ask you to do this. It'll ask you, hey, when do you want to start running this flow? How often do you want to repeat it? And everything like that. So over the next you know, one or two videos, we'll be actually talking about scheduled flows and creating ones ourselves. Um, one thing to note with scheduled flows is that, you know, in terms of actually testing them, you don't need to actually wait until the trigger action. You can actually obviously trigger it yourself, which makes testing a lot easier. Um, but, you know, everything else that we've learned about flows applies. You can add conditions to scheduled flows. You can add multiple different actions to scheduled flow. The only thing that changes is how it's triggered. That's it. That's literally the only difference. Let's get started and build a scheduled flow. So what we'll do here first is we'll change this to, instead of repeating every minute, we'll change this to repeating every month. Again, scheduled flows are time-based, and as we're creating the flow, we don't want it to actually trigger every minute like it was before. So we'll just change this to every month, and we can change it later on. What's nice about this as well is if you want to create a flow that only starts on a certain date or after like two weeks, you can do that here as well. So let's click Create. Now you can see here that the top of this flow diagram looks different than what we've seen before. Again, it's not based on a button or an automated trigger. It's based on recurrence. And we kind of saw this when we were going through the previous steps. For example, if you click new step here and go to built in connectors, you can see that there is a connector called schedule. And if you go to schedule, there is a trigger underneath schedule called reoccurrence. So that's what the initial step of this flow diagram is. It's simply using the schedule connector and the reoccurrence trigger inside the schedule connector. Now here you can specify certain things. You can specify, uh, you know, do we want it to be once every month? Do we want it to be once every day? We can also have some advanced options as well as to when, what, when we actually want it to run. So there's a lot of cool things we can do with it. For now, we can just do it once a month just so we're testing it now when we're creating our scheduled flow um, one thing i thought of is one of my friends created a scheduled flow for himself to basically say good morning to his team every uh, every morning at about 9 a.m and so basically what he did is he went on his slack and he connected power automate to his slack so that uh you know Basically, he has a team channel over here. You know, I've called this tutorial for now, just for an example. But what would be very cool is that if on 9 a.m. every morning, you just send a message like hello team or good morning team, something like that. And that would be an automated flow because there's no specific trigger. It would simply just be an interval or it would just be a, you know, a scheduled reoccurrence that actually happens. So let's do that as an example. Uh, so what we want to do is, uh, again, we want to create a flow that simply once every morning sends a message out to a specific Slack group saying, hello, everyone, or good morning. So let's do that right now. First thing we need to do is to create a new step. 
and basically create a, uh, a Slack connector. So if we go to standard, actually you can just search it here. Let's search up Slack. Perfect. And we want to be able to post a message, but there's other things you can do with Slack as well, which are very cool. You can also uh, make a trigger off of Slack as well. So when a file is created, it triggers a flow. We're not going to do that. Uh, we're simply going to post a message, but just know that that is available. So let's click post message. And I'll first ask us to sign in. So let me sign into Slack here. That's just authenticating. And I'm going to allow permissions. Perfect. Okay. It looks like it connected successfully. Now it's asking for the channel name and message text. So we want to be able to post to the tutorial channel. It's, such a, it's just a sample channel that I made here. So let's do that. So let's go over here and go to tutorial. There we go. And then we want the body of the message as well. Um, it says for formatting option C, HTTPS, colon backslash backslash api.slack.com. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. Um, but there's some advanced options as well. So you can choose the name of a bot. You can post as a specific user. You can put links, icons. There's a lot of different things. What we want to be able to do is just put in good morning, everyone, with an exclamation mark. There we go. And uh, that is it. Okay, let's see if this baby works. So let's make sure we save the file. We should probably give it a name as well. Let's give it a uh, Slack scheduled flow. There we go. Let's click save again. And then let's test it. Uh, so for the trigger action, if you click test over here, uh, it'll basically ask you to run the flow. Again, there's the trigger is just time based, so you don't really need any trigger options necessarily. So you can just click run flow. And let's see if it ran successfully. Good morning, everyone. Okay, so this is very cool. So the bot it's actually using is the Microsoft Power Platform. It knows that it's connected. So you can do very cool things here. Like, you know, you can basically have a list of tips and every morning at 9 a.m. it basically gathers a random list of it chooses a random list of tips from a, from an Excel file or something like that, and then posts it to the group. So you can do some very cool things with scheduled flows. The thing that I want you to remember though, is that scheduled flows are basically just the same thing as instant flows or automated flows, but they're just on a schedule instead of being triggered by a button or an event. And the benefit of that is you can do something reoccurringly. I've seen people set up scheduled flows to basically send the notifications every you know, every time at 9 p.m. to go to bed or to remind them of certain tasks to complete. So there's some really, really cool things that you can do with scheduled flows. And we made a very sim simple Slack bot uh, in that. And, you know, making a Slack bot is not easy. Like if you were to do that in Slack, it, wouldn't, it would actually not be that easy. Power Automate just makes it so easy for you because you can do it visually. And that's the, that's the biggest benefit here. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.